Gopher to the Rescue, a Volcano Recovery Story. Something is different on the mountain. Snowshoe Hare hears the rumble from miles away. Black Bear feels the ground shake beneath her paws. Gopher feels the earth move in his burrow. Steam and ash burst from the top of the mountain. It looks like smoke. Elk has never seen this before. Squirrel sees black smudges on the snowy mountain. The rumblings go on for days. The mountain is changing. A volcano is waking up. But Gopher just digs and digs in his burrow. Early one morning, the animals feel rumbling and trembling and shaking, more terrible than they've ever felt before. They hear a terrible sound. The top of the mountain slides away. Snow and rocks slide down the mountain into the valley. Then the mountain explodes. The blast from the explosion blows down all the trees. The top of the mountain disappears in a cloud of ash and rock. The volcano is erupting. The animals try to run away. The heat and ash or the force of the explosion kills many animals. But Gopher is safe in his burrow with plenty of tasty roots and bulbs to eat. When the shaking stops and the roar quiets, Gopher begins to dig again. He digs through the soil and then he digs through gritty, warm ash, sand, and pebbles. He wonders, where did all this stuff come from? When he reaches the surface, blown down trees cover the landscape like toothpicks. The world is gray and dry and hot. Gopher is not alone. Ant and beetle crawl around the crust form, formed by the hot, dry ash. They find plenty of food in the dead wood and plenty of places to hide. From his home under a rotten log, Mouse sticks out his nose. He's confused, but the tree is still his home, and he has tasty bugs to eat. Even though his world has changed, Gopher digs and digs. He mixes the soil from his tunnels with the crusty ash, adding life-giving nutrients. The nutrients help plants to grow. Gopher helps the mountain recover. Gopher to the rescue, a volcano recovery story. Gopher's helping the mountain recover. Salamander and toad pollywogs survive the blast under the ice and mud at the bottom of a lake. Come summer, when it's time for them to live their adult life on dry land, they find the world dry and hot. They use gopher's tunnels to find shade and to get around in the hot, dry landscape. They head to the cool, damp forest nearby or the new, to the new ponds created in the blast area. Insects return to the mountain right away, flying in on the wind. Spiders float in on silken threads, and seeds blow in from far and near. Days turn into weeks, Weeks turn into months. Some seeds take root on top of gopher's tunnels and grow into new plants. Birds also visit the mountain right away and eat tasty bugs and seeds. They perch on small islands of plants and flowers that survive the blast. Weeks pass and months pass, but there are no places to nest. Birds can't live on the mountain, not yet. Elk often explores the mountain. At first, he finds young trees that survived the blast under the snow. As months turn into years, saplings sprout from seeds. They're a little snack, but they're not enough for him. He needs to take cover in the shady forests nearby. The forests that were not damaged by the heat or the rocks are buried under the ash. He'll return to live on the mountain when there's plenty of food to eat. And plenty of places to rest and hide. Months and years pass. Slowly, hemlocks and firs, fireweed and lupine grow. Animals visit. 
They find enough food and shelter and they can stay on the mountain. Gopher still digs and digs, looking for new roots and bulbs to eat, making the ground fertile for more seeds to grow. Years have turned into decades. Trees and bushes dot the landscape. Elk, squirrels, snowshoe hares, and black bears are returning to the fertile new habitat on the mountain. Some areas may never be as they were before the big blast, but one of the thing that we can be for sure is gopher will still dig and dig, and the mountain will continue to change. And then I have some pages for you to read.